So I found this little bandsaw at the dump uh, a few days ago, and it looked like it was intact, except somebody had hacked off the motor cable. And uh, all I did was I, I threw a new cable on it and uh, test it out. It does work. So at the very least, I've got a decent one horsepower motor out of this so far. Um, but looking it over, it looks like the, uh, the bearings are okay. They're, uh, they're not great, a little noisy, but you know, not terrible. That one could use replacing. But it seems like it's mostly functional. Now, I think the reason it was dumped is that the tires have disintegrated with age. They look like they were just polyurethane wheels and uh, I've got little bits of them all over my floor now because they just came right apart. So I'll have to see about either buying replacements or making replacements for that. Um, it uses a standard uh, urethane belt, so that's pretty easy to maintain, no problem there. Um, I noticed somebody removed the power switch, so I'll have to wire in a new power switch, but not a, uh, not a bad deal overall. Now looking at the nameplate here, it looks like it's sold by Busy Bee and was made in 1989. So it's pretty old, but I really don't see any signs of major use or abuse. Um, down below here, it looks like somebody has replaced the blade guide with a piece of wood. But honestly, that's not a terrible solution. I'll probably just 3D print one or something like that. Um, but in the meantime, I'm going to see about getting a blade for this. Uh, I've already checked online and Busy Bee does still sell the blades for it. And I could always just have a custom one made. Not a problem there at all. But if I can get it to work, then I have a little bandsaw for doing small resaw work and small projects that I didn't otherwise have. So, cool. Well, the bandsaw belt issue is solved. I happen to find somebody on eBay who's selling the exact belts that I need for the exact saw, and it even comes with a urethane drive belt so I can replace it when it breaks. Um, apparently these are not affected by freezing temperatures, which is good because it's very, very cold in my shop right now. Well, actually, it's not as cold as I thought, but it's still pretty damn cold. Anyway, I think I'll order these in, get a blade, and I should have a working bandsaw. Sweet. So there it is reassembled. I'm going to order those parts in and uh, see if we can make a decent bandsaw out of this. Um, what do you think? Let me know down in the comments if you think I'm wasting my time, wasting my money, wasting my effort, or uh, if you think this is worth bringing back to life. You know, honestly, when it's my turn to be relegated to the trash heap of life, I hope that someone finds me and sees the potential and dusts me off and gets me back to work. Maybe that's just me. Um, I'll report back on how it works when I get all the parts in for it. And for now, we'll just leave it there. Thanks for watching.